Hello, my name is Dr. Richard Fitton. I, I work at the University of Salford. I, I lead the Energy House work that we do here. I'm also a, a chartered building surveyor by trade. We created the Level 4 Award and Retrofit Assessment to, to bring a, a standard to how we train people and how we assess people. Uh, hopefully the, the standard will help that and help generate a level playing field across all the courses that are delivered in this area. So the Level 4 Award, uh, we, we've designed it in such a way to, to really improve the quality where people are assessing the retrofit of buildings or pre-assessing buildings, should we say. So this, this all goes to say that if we don't have a, a very good assessment at the start of this type of process, then we often don't end up with a very good retrofit. So we believe that if we create a very good qualification and standard, then this will hopefully drive the, the whole performance of, of retrofit to a higher standard. We feel the course is going to help learners because it, it's it's not only a very detailed course, but it's also a very broad course. So it, it really kind of starts at the beginning of the retrofit assessment, right the way through to things like healthy homes and building physics. Who some you know some people don't always link that directly with retrofit assessment, but but we need to if we're going to get successful assessments of buildings, right the way through to the actual finished products of the retrofit assessor you know how do you do your site notes how do you t write the reports and things like that so it's very broad but also very deep as well so we think that's a, a good approach to take to a what could be a new topic for a lot of people we've developed the course to be a complete end-to-end -end course so you know the, the the requirements are quite few you have to be uh, a registered domestic energy assessor. That's one of the requirements of past 2035, but we, we have developed the course to take people right the way through the process. So, you know, any anyone who's uh, who, who's particularly interested in this area, I think would be, um, would be a reasonable candidate to do the course. I think some of the benefits of the course are it, it's a very practical course um, you know you will be looking at buildings you will be having demonstrations of people actually doing this work uh, and that makes it a course that, that's quite easy to relate to you know there's no superfluous information in the course it is all what you need to to, to take this to take this role forward really so i think it's um one of the main benefits is it's very very practical course and hopefully that should should make things a lot easier to understand and and for you to be ready to do the job at, at the end one of the significant issues in the uk is our aging housing stock we are building lots of new build houses these days but arguably one of the biggest areas for concern to reach net zero in, in the in the UK alone is to improve our aging housing stock in terms of energy performance. So we think that this whole process of retrofitting buildings is, is a very good starting point to achieving some significant carbon reductions across the, the UK housing uh, stock. When you've completed the course uh, successfully, the, the, really the next the next thing to do is to become a retrofit assessor so that involves uh, accreditation through through one of the retrofit assessor accreditation schemes and then the, 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 there will always be a, a period of getting used to the role some more learning some CPD activities uh, and all the things that, that, that go along with being a newly registered member of any community really um, so we, we, we feel that, you know, once you get to the end of the course, that's not necessarily the, the end full stop. There are still things you will learn and things that you have to update yourselves on and things like that. So I think any successful professional keeps up this, this lifelong learning, as we call it. So, you know, you'll be able to get out there and do the, do the stuff that you've been trained to do. But clearly, there's always going to be some, some kind of lifelong learning.
that you need to carry on with.